Hello, this is Kenneth Wong, Contributing Editor for Desktop Engineering Magazine. So if you're a SOLIDWORKS user on the latest release, that would be version 2010, you now have access to SOLIDWORKS Sustainability Express, an application that lets you estimate environmental impact of your design based on your material selection, manufacturing method, location, and a few other factors. Well, I recently saw a demonstration of SOLIDWORKS Sustainability that's the full version that requires a license for a fee different from the free version that comes with the software so let me share with you what I just saw sustainability works much like sustainability express it works right inside your SOLIDWORKS modeling environment the primary difference is in the full version you can analyze an entire assembly not just individual parts that gives you a rolled up if you will of the environmental impact of the entire design. There are also a couple of more input parameters available in the full version that are not included in the express version. For example, transportation mode, how you plan to transfer your raw materials and manufactured goods to their destinations, or the product's life cycle energy use, for example, an estimated energy use of a washing machine over its expected lifespan. Calculating environmental impacts is a complicated process, in some ways a controversial one as well, because there's no clear consensus on what to tally up, what not to, and so on. Nevertheless, the more input you provide, the better the results will be. So what you do is, you define the materials for your assembly. If you haven't done so, pick the geographic region from where you'll be producing it, pick the manufacturing methods, machining, injection, molding, whatever that might be, Pick where it'll be used, specify transportation mode, then get an estimate of the environmental impact. The first scenario you set up is usually your baseline. That's the one against which you'll measure the rest of the scenarios. Okay, now that we've got the baseline scenario calculated, we'll run this again, but this time with different materials. You can also use the find similar function to identify material with similar yield strength, thermal properties, and so on. You see, making this design with a new material, just for this one component, dramatically reduces the environmental impact. One more important observation here. In SOLIDWORKS, you could run analysis and check on environmental impact in the same window. That lets you make sure that what you do to make your product greener doesn't end up making your part weaker. This way you can stay within your required factor of safety while keeping the carbon count low. Afterwards, you can export a report showing your setup and the anticipated eco-impact. And if you want to learn more about the topic, you can visit SOLIDWORKS web portal for sustainability. You don't need the software to get access to that site, by the way. It's completely free. Here, you'll find information about carbon and product lifecycle assessment in terms you can easily understand, like comparing a design's carbon count to the impact of driving an average US or European car for a number of miles. Till next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, learning to measure and reduce his own carbon footprint.